I want to recreate last week's experiment. It's that guy. This part, awesome. That, not so much. Let's just do it better. Use more colors. I have my Mosh TLP. It's cold in my studio. That usually means my paints thicken up quite a bit. Oh, I hope that's okay. Adding varnish would not really help. Actually, what would help is putting them on a heating pad or something. This is red. There's already crap on here. Okay, I put my pillow on already. I forgot to record it. <laughs> so let's get the goopers out. Pretty sure that's plenty. Since I talk too much, I will push my paint back. Just to make sure we have that nice thick pillow paint underneath. I don't want it necessarily already spread out. I like when my cells are able to get big. But you need pillow paint for that. And I use the PPG Multi Pro. That is the cheapest that Home Depot has and it works wonderful. I make sure that the corners have enough paint to move. And today, dear people, I will bring back a tool that I told you guys not to use. On uh, my last video on Sunday, I had a piece that ended up with a lot of bubbles, which kind of come with the technique. I have bubbles in my paint. If I don't let them sit for a while, the spreading traps air pockets so those will pop my good old torch more to that later let's put paint on the canvas techno first and i do not want to run out of paint this time mm -hmm. That's a nice spread. There we go. Scrape it back into my container. Next color. I have a lot of bubbles in here. And I honestly have not found a way how to disperse them properly. They behave differently than Mica pigments. I'm having some trouble with that. If you have an idea for me, please let me know. Okay. Is that enough? That's a big canvas. Tell you what. See all those mm -hmm. messed up when I mix them. It's a bunch of dark dots in there. Maybe they become irrelevant. That's a lot. Ooh, that's a lot. Freaking fun color. Fun, 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 fun. So red. Okay, let me. Just mark where I put my paints in this part here. Has the most paint on it. A lot. I 
and to make it flow easily off my spreader I give my paint a lot of mass by putting a lot on and I'm gonna need a lot I could probably get away with less oh do I leave this red Ooh, that might grow big though but if I swiped through it, it might look cool. This is very wasteful what I'm doing. I can't help myself. I really want to have enough paint everywhere so the black spreads out all the way. So in that I used probably three ounces of black just to cover it. Okay, this is where I had a lot. Okay, I have the big guy. Ooh. And I just put my black cell activator on. One more drop for good luck. Oh, let me torch. I don't want to hit the paint for a long time to make it burn or overheat. And you see those popped already and you have those red cute speckles there. Love it. So it, you will see it doesn't pop the big guys, it pops the small ones and brings more up to the surface. Let's do a background first. Let's do something like I go very light, but a little bit stronger than last time. So you can see a little bit. I hope the sun is not disturbing the view. But you can see that I did something. I think I want to just do a big swipe through it. Some focus in the middle. Ew. <laughs> I don't know. I wish I could see more. I think I see exactly the same that you see. Basically nothing, and a few dots <laughs> and bubbles. Can't help myself. It could look really cool, but I'm afraid it's not enough. I'm afraid to spin because what happened with this one is I spun and tilted the last one, this one, a bunch just because I was curious what's happening there and then did this wipe after. It totally lost shape, it's white and um, not pretty. Um, my minimalist heart wants me to just spin and not do anything else. But my curious heart wants to swipe more. A tiny one. Really, just a tiny one. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put swipe on with a smaller knife. Black again. Okay, that did something. 
again, I don't want to overdo it. So I want to bring in too much white. That was a close one. Even though fluorescents with the white look really cool, or the white itself. That was a good one. Should I leave it be? Oh, I wish you guys were here and you could tell me. Sometimes you need patience. I don't know if you can see it, but I want to save that one little orange cell. And if I lift up my palette knife now, it would not be... There we go. Ooh, Ooh interesting. Now I kind of want to do something in here. Maybe with an even tinier knife. Oh, I see hundreds of tiny, tiny bubbles popping. Oh my God, that might be good. <sighs> All right, I have to hurry up a little. You know, I might have to swipe again. <laughs> Let me find a good knife for that. I know I only have one and it's probably dirty. Yes, it is. And I just broke it. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Have I mentioned that you should take care of your palette knives? Don't let them sit in paint or water. Is that a sign? <laughs> let me spin. You know what? This might be awesome. <laughs> This looks so galaxy-y. Okay. It is time to spin. I should have probably swiped more. But there's a lot of paint on the canvas, so... Wow. I'm gonna put my gloves on. And see where this takes us. A little spin just to relax the paint and myself a little. <laughs> All right, I'm losing this part, so I will move it down.
should have done a tiny swipe, a something really, I don't know. Should have should have, right? This is so cool. Really hoping I could open this up a little more. Just to have more to look at. So I'm watching especially this part because I don't necessarily want to lose much of it. If that's gone, it would be lame. Like it kind of, it, it helps the composition to be there. So let's go back. Plus that little orange planet over there is really cool too. I don't want to much lose much of that either, but it can get a little bit closer to the edge, and I want to spin that off. Freaking cool, man. So on one hand, I'm totally blown away. But I think I really should have put another swipe on there. For minimal, it's not minimal enough. Oh, I just tried to move things. I think I'm gonna lose my bottom part that I wanted to save so badly to make it look more minimal. Let me spin one more time. It is not what I wanted. So the coolest part is really the scoop and drag. Okay, here we are. This is pretty cool, got to say. The torch, who would have thought? That's the scoop and drag. So cool. And that's the part that really looked so nebulary. It still does. <laughs> we'll see how it dries, guys. Okay, guys, here it is dry. Definitely not enough red that came out, but look at all those stars. So theory of mine is the torch might produce more bubbles than there actually are. Because, I mean, look at this. It's so bubble nuts. It looks freaking awesome, but what do you guys think? Is it possible that the torch actually makes more bubbles? Really like what the neon color is doing with the black, turning it into a green. Pretty cool. 
here again is my bumblebee butt that I tried to recreate. All I got is maybe a bumblebee wing and a sea of stars. All I need is some practice and um, getting to know what I'm dealing with. Okay, until then, bye-bye. I love you guys.